Welcome to Song Fragments video number two. We will start with the song John Kanaka Naka. Your job in this song is to do John Kanaka Naka to lay A. Let me show you again. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. I'm saying John Kanaka Naka to lay A. When I do it a little faster, it looks and sounds like this. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. When I add the song melody, it sounds like this. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. If you can't snap, just tap your fingers together. John Kanaka, oh, I messed up. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. All right, I will do your part with you. I heard, I heard the old man say, John Kanaka Naka to lay A. Today, today is a holiday. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. To lay A, to lay A. John Kanaka Naka to lay A. You're on your own. I'll do the motions, but I'm not going to sing it. I heard, I heard the old man say, Today, today is a holiday. To lay a, to lay a. Good. That was fun. Our next song is Cape Cod Girls, and you have two jobs. Your first job sounds like this. Heave away, heave away. I'll sing that again for you. You can be my echo. Heave away, heave away. Thank you. The second job you have is, we are bound for Australia. I'll sing that again. You can be my echo. We are bound for Australia. All right, I will show you whether you are singing your first job or your second job while I sing the rest of the words. Cape Cod girls, they have no combs. Heave away, heave away. They comb their hair with codfish bones. We are bound for Australia. Heave away, my bully, bully boys. Heave away, heave away. Heave away, and don't you make a noise. We are bound for Australia. Now, this song has a lot of verses. So, I'm going to sing all the verses, but your job remains the same. Your job number one is heave away, heave away. And job number two is we are bound for Australia and I will sing your parts with you. Let's start from the beginning. So I will sing the first verse again, and then I will keep going with all the funny verses. Listen carefully, they are silly. Cape Cod girls, they have no combs. Heave away, heave away. They comb their hair with codfish bones. We are bound for Australia. Heave away, my bully bully boys. Heave away, heave away. Heave away, and don't you make a noise. We are bound for Australia. Cape Cod cats don't got no tails. Heave away, heave away. They lost them all in southeast gales. We are bound for Australia. Heave away, my bully bully boys. Heave away, heave away. Heave away, and don't you make a noise. We are bound for Australia. Cape Cod kids don't have no sleds. Heave away, heave away. They slide down hills on codfish heads. We are bound for Australia. Heave away, my bully bully boys. Heave away, heave away. Heave away, and don't you make a noise. We are bound for Australia. So to recap, we've got girls in Cape Cod, they don't have combs. They comb their hair with codfish bones. Ew. 
And we've got cats in Cape Cod. They don't have no tails because they lost them all in southeast gales. Gales are a type of wind. It blew the tails off the cats. That's crazy. All right. We have Cape Cod kids don't have no sleds. So they slide down the hills on codfish heads. That's crazy. And the final verse is Cape Cod folks don't have no ills. That means they're never sick because the Cape Cod doctors feed them codfish pills. Do you take fish pills? Ew. All right, let's sing the final verse together. Here we go. Cape Cod folks don't have no ills. Heave away, heave away. The Cape Cod doctors feed them codfish pills. We are bound for Australia. Heave away, my bully bully boys. Heave away, heave away. Heave away, and don't you make a noise. We are bound for Australia. This type of song is a sea shanty, and it is sung by men typically working on a boat. And they are going to sea, and they sing to keep their steady beat so they can hoist the mast and pull on the ropes all at the same time. And someone, maybe the captain of the ship, would sing the part I was singing, and then all the sailors would sing together, heave away, heave away. Isn't that fun? You can pretend to be on a boat in your house and sing this song. Our final fragment song is an echo song. So I will sing each line and then you will sing it back to me. And we're gonna sing a whole story about a goat. And this goat belongs to Bill Grogan. I don't know if you know Bill Grogan, he's not real. And my song tells a story of how Bill Grogan's goat ate three red shirts off of Bill Grogan's clothesline. And Bill Grogan was not happy. And I don't know if you've ever had something happen to you or your stuff and it's made you unhappy. And maybe you made the, a good choice and you went to whoever did this and you said, excuse me, I did not like it when you did that. Please don't do that again. That is a good way to resolve conflict. Now, Bill Grogan did not go talk to his goat. Instead, he grabbed his goat and he tied him to a railroad track. Can you believe that? I think Bill was hoping the goat would get run over by the train. That is unkind. That is not how you should resolve your problems. And that is not what you should do with your goat. So, the goat was a smart goat. And he got real nervous when he heard the train coming and he turned white and then he turned green and then he coughed up those shirts and waved them at the train and the train stopped. And the train conductor untied the goat from the train tracks and everyone lived happily ever after. Now, please grab your microphone. Might be a mallet, might be a hairbrush, might be a spoon whatever you have available. My turn, your turn. There was a man. Now please take note. There was a man who had a goat. He loved that goat. Indeed he did. He loved that goat. Just like a kid. That's funny because a baby goat is called a kid. <laughs> All right, next verse. One day that goat felt frisk and fine. Ate three red shirts right off the line. The man he grabbed him by the back and tied him to a railroad track. Now when that train came in 
into sight. The goat grew pale and green with fright. He heaved a sigh as if in pain, coughed up those shirts, flagged down the train, and everyone lived happily ever after. Thank you for making music with me today, and I will see you soon.